this quick little video on your refrigerator essentials that I believe you need if you are a beginner cook. So let's get started. I believe everybody ought to have some buttermilk, y'all. I just do. <laughs> so you get a small pint of buttermilk. You get a small pint of whole milk. You get everything in small quantities as you're preparing various dishes for yourself and maybe you and another person so that if you don't like that thing, then you don't need to stock up on that. But these are some of the things that I think you need in your kitchen. Actually, on yogurt, I prefer the sour taste to Bulgarian yogurt over the Greek yogurt. There's something about that sour, bitter type taste that my tongue really does like. So if you like yogurt, get the kind that you like. Now on butter, unsalted or salted butter, uh, I watched my mama cook all my life and my mother cooked with salted butter. And then as I became an adult and a young wife and having children and stuff, I started watching the chef shows and I switched from salted to unsalted butter and I can't switch back. But there's nothing wrong with salted butter. Only difference is with unsalted butter, you control the amount of salt that's in that item that you're preparing. But salted butter, also bread, baby, that is so good. <laughs> and I want to encourage y'all to get jumbo or extra large eggs because the regular size eggs that they sell now are so small that I don't think that you get what you need from the egg block, especially when you're baking. And I think you ought to have some Parmesan Reggiano cheese in your pantry. I mean, in your refrigerator. Just make sure it is good quality and legit. And then my favorite cheddar is Extra Sharp by Tillamook. Tillamook makes some killer cheese, man. So try that. Okay, so that's the one thing for your, a set of things for your refrigerator. In produce, I think you ought to have lemons, limes, bell peppers, carrots, celery, avocados, and an apple a day might help keep the doctor away, y'all. So uh, stock up on these things. And again, as I said in previous videos, you're not going to run out and buy all of this stuff all at once. Just a little at a time as you're cooking and eating and enjoying your kitchen and enjoying cooking and things. And then for nuts... I keep my nuts in the refrigerator, but you can also put them in the freezer. Nuts have their own natural oil in them. And if they stay in the pantry and over time, they're going to get kind of rancid. So you want to put them in the refrigerator or the freezer. Either one works. And then the dark leafy green vegetables and more. These are some of my favorite greens. Although I put spinach on here because I know spinach is popular with a lot of people. I really and truly don't eat a lot of spinach, y'all. But all the rest of them on here, I eat a ton of these. And I just believe that as I saw my mom and grandma and granddad and dad and all of those people eat uh, dark leafy green vegetables, they ate greens and they ate beans almost every day of the week. And all of them lived until their 90s and some lived to over 100. So I think dark leafy greens are so important in your diet. So these are the things that I think you kind of need to stock in your refrigerator, but just take it slow a little at a time. Get one type of green that you like and make sure you're going to eat it. Because what typically happens is people um, get all of this stuff and then their vegetables go bad. So we don't want that to happen. And I think I have a ton of videos on here showing you how to properly wash and dry and spin them dry and then dry them and then store dark leafy greens to keep them good for weeks and it will last for weeks if you go through the process and do what you need to do. The key is you can't store wet vegetables. They got to be completely dry and rolled in paper towels when you store them. So that's those are the things that I believe you need for your refrigerator. So I want to encourage you to stock up little by little as you're advancing in your kitchen, uh, your cooking process and just start with stuff that you enjoy eating and then Splurge one day on something that you haven't tried before and try to cook that thing. And that's how you do it, little at a time. But the, the list is a good list, so I want you to keep this list handy. That's just a quick tip for you today. I'm Dale Taylor. Y'all go out and make it a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.